Divers training is in progress at various levels. Novices have opportunities to study the work of both their own instructors and students who have already embarked on more advanced aspects of the training. The student's first dive will be made not in the river, but the school's specially constructed 30-foot tank. There are portholes around the bottom of this tank through which the diver can be watched. A convenience for the instructors and a safety factor for the students. For the diver, conditions inside the tank are a little different from the real thing. Before the student himself is ready to take the plunge, there is classroom work to be mastered. He must become absolutely at home in the various types of diving gear he will use. This suit is not watertight, but it does keep the body warm in moderately cold water. The diver carries his own breathing equipment in the form of two compressed air tanks and a face mask. There are diving suits for various depths and operations. Part of the diver's skill is knowing how to select his equipment. As the student now begins to learn, the type of suit he wears for a given operation will depend on more than the depth of the water. You make your selection according to the type of work to be done, how long you expect to be underwater, and according to the climate. The suit which works fine in the Panama Canal Zone may leave something to be desired in the icy waters of Alaska. This is a lightweight dress used for searching underwater or performing minor tasks at relatively shallow depths. Deep sea diving is usually considered to be anything deeper than 36 feet and may exceed 250 to 300 feet. These men are hoping to graduate with the rating of salvage diver, allowing them to perform work to a depth of 90 feet. Even there, however, they will encounter pressures nearly three times normal, and their lives may depend on their ability to handle their deep sea equipment. Before he can become a diver, the student must know his diver's dress inside and out. He must be able to wear it himself, and he must also be a qualified diver's tender. Diving suits are waterproof and airtight. From the moment the diver is dressed, and his faceplate sealed, he is entirely dependent on the skill of his two tenders. The instructors at the school keep a watchful eye on every detail of the student's work, for they know that during his career as a diver, each man's life may depend on his having learned the procedures so well they become second nature. At long last, the student is deemed ready to enter the 30-foot tank, make his first dive. job is successful, this young man, who 17 weeks ago had never been under the water, is now a qualified salvage diver, a fledgling member of one of the highest paid trades in the world.
Here she comes, and with her, the student's rating. He will go on now to perform actual work in ports and harbors to progress in his craft until someday he receives the designation Master Diver, qualified to probe any ocean depth human ingenuity can reach.